This is Joshua taking Baja again. I'm here at Disney mm. with Chef Melissa. Hello, my name is Melissa, one of the chefs here in Disney. And now with, with Josh, we're going to um, show you what the wonderful things we do here in, in Disney. We um, are located inside of the winery of Viña Miliana. Awesome, this place is super hidden. If you need information about how to get here, definitely hit me up on YouTube. All right, Chef Melissa, what do we have wine-wise here? Well, here we have Sirane uh, Violo, and this is one of the wines here in Vigna Miliana. This wine is um, the, the way the clients prefer here in, in Disney. This is a really good wine, and it's like a neutral wine that can, can, you have it with all our plates. So everything you fix, you can pair with this wine? Yeah, we can pair like the ceviche and other plates, like the really good really with cuts, maybe with a dessert too. Okay. It's a really Oh, natural wine. I really awesome. like it. Well, cheers. Right, here yeah. we go. <laughs> Excellent really wine. Yeah. Excellent wine. You told me before you make your own bread. Yeah, now we're doing, right now we're doing bread, but every weekend we, we do it on our bread. This is a, a tortilla bread. We call it like that because the, the figure that there is is like kind of a tortilla. Yeah. And it's a cereal bread. And we serve it with a, a Disney sauce. The Disney sauce is, has habanero chile has onion and garlic. Ooh. We all the ingredients get it on the on the on the grill and so they can get it all wrecked and we mix it with olive oil. You're speaking my language, we gotta try this here. Let's, let's dig really, in. Let's it's dig a really in. good sauce in, in bread. I, the maybe some people they don't like the, the sauce because it's really spicy but the flavors are you want to mm. only eat it and eat it and eat it. And it's kind of with with all of a place too. We can it's got such a it. nice smoky flavor to it. Yeah. And the habanero is not overpowering. Absolutely incredible bread. Please tell me about this uh, oh, ceviche. Wait, here we have the famous ceviche we serve here in Disney. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a real story about the, the, the fish, where it came from. My, my dad is fans to go fishing to La Paz, there is on the south of Baja. And he like fish, like a monster of fishes. So every time he, he go to, to La Paz, he brings us uh, fish. So this fish is like the fish that my dad fished. <laughs> and That's what he caught. And it's a uh, gallo. They call it gallo, gallo in the mar of Cortez. And uh, how is the, the ceviche oriental? Why? Because it has um, olive, uh, sesame oil, ginger, and so and so. Let's uh, please here grab it. Grab a tostado. Let's okay. let's, let's 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 get in here. Enjoy it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's Only in Valle Guadalupe do you use tostadas as silverware. I love it. You can do it with. Uh, Sauce oh, please hit me up with a little teaspoon yeah, sauce. Yeah, no, it's really good. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, it's really good. And the, and the sauce is like perfect for, for this place. That is super fresh. Now, the freshness a... and like the softness of the fish, absolutely amazing. With the crunch of the vegetables, oh, you outdid yourself here. Yeah, you oh, can my eat it all day and every day. And you can you get a sip of the wine and you're going to Look how they pair with you with the with the wine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Like you're gonna scorch it in your mouth with the with the wine and the, and the Amazing. So we've tried some of this food and I'm telling you the ceviche is absolutely amazing. The bread, I actually make my own sourdough bread and this is oh, like, cool. oh, it's so much better than mine. <laughs> I'm actually ashamed to bring that up because this is so much better no, than no mine. No worries. <laughs> I, w I really would try to try your, your bed. Oh, it's a, oh I, 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 it does all right for my suegra. You know what I mean? For my mother-in-law. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so talk to me a little bit about Tizne and the concept here. and What kind of cuisine do you have? Well, here in Tizne, like I mentioned before, we are two chefs and we bring the most of our plates are on, on the grill. Or we make it with a te Mexican technique that is tatemado, or we have an, an ash on the on the plate. And when you get here, you're going to look at ambience like really um like closer closer um, service. Okay. One one. Every... I mean the tables are right on the other side. Yeah, of you, you can you can look the kitchen mm -hmm. when you you see it in, you see it on on, on the on, on here in Disney. And sometimes the chefs will go to the clients and talk with them and tell them what they want to, to eat or where they we came from. So it's very personal experience. Yeah, it's a really yeah. personal experience that you can can hear and feel like at home. 
and yeah. and the the dressing is like you can I don't know if you go on the beach and you want to go on the valley don't worry you can get here. come with sand all over yeah, you it doesn't matter right. huh? and you can get the view like really closer with the wi the winery yeah the vineyard is right out I, back I mean, here the vineyard and then the mountains are the winery right next to you us, don't the need mountains. more decorations oh. it's all over the nature you, here yeah, you could take a photo here and hang it on your wall at home I mean, no, it's, and, that, and it's that beautiful that's right in every spot you can get the a wonderful view here in, in amazing and what, what is the other chef's name it's Miriam Moreno. Okay. Miriam Moreno is the other chef that not, now is not right here, but uh, we try to every weekend we have the both of you have coverage. Yeah. yeah. Where did you get your start? Well, uh, both we start. Um, we meet at the School of Culinary Arts School in mm. Tijuana. We from there, Tijuana. Okay. And then he go to Spain. Then I go to Argentina and I go to Uruguay. So. When ah. we they, when, when we try to absorb different you kind two of two different experiences, yeah, different yeah. experiences, and then we we always um, get a really good couple cooking, so we decide to get a our own place. So here's oh, Steven. Awesome. You told me that this is a seasonal restaurant, correct? Yeah, it's a seasonal restaurant. We um, close the final weekend of November here in Viña Mijena. Okay. But um, Mir and I, we're going to open uh, other place. It's going to be like a snacks um, place that we're going to serve. The mo most of the concept here in Tizne, but you're going to only look the only, only snacks and maybe some 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 weekends you're going to find um, um, specialties like I don't know um, ribs or maybe a hamburger. Oh wow! So yeah. it's gonna vary. Yeah, it's going to be like we call it here like a munch thing. <laughs> <laughs> so and we're going to be inside of Sorbo and it's um, on the principal avenue here in, in Valle Juan. Sorbo. 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 Is the name of Sorbo. The Excellent, excellent. So you guys are popping up there soon? Yeah, soon, like, I, I don't know. Like December? If, uh, may, no, maybe um, we, we're going to start uh, after, um, be, I mean, before we close the season. Oh, wow, maybe, okay. Maybe uh, in the half of November we're going to be open. But we're going to be on the social um, media, like Facebook, Instagram. We're going to announce the, the, the right date when we're going to open. Perfect. So, so hey, check out Tizne on Facebook. Follow them on Instagram. Instagram too, we have. Yeah, definitely follow them on, on, follow them on Instagram. Make sure you keep up with what's going on because this is absolutely amazing. That ceviche Thank was so you. good. The Thank bread was you. so good. Thank you guys so much for your hospitality. Thank you I really you, appreciate you, it. You have you guys. Thank you so much. Nope, no problem. You're welcome. No problem. <laughs> Once again, this is Josh. I challenge you to take in and take on Baja. Yeah.